Okay, so today I want to show you AWS Amplify, which is a simple way to create websites. Basically, you can deploy a front end and a back end system in any environment that you wish. I'm using Hugo, which is a open source static website generator, and it was very simple to connect this to Amplify. And I'm also using GitHub. I've created a repository in GitHub to host this. So I created this application called Hugo Test, and then I have it connected to Master Branch on GitHub. So if I go to Hugo Test, we can take a look at how that's set up. So back in the Amplify console, you can see that this is set up to continuously deploy. So it'll provision, build, deploy, and verify the application. I have a production URL and then the source repository URL. If I click on the production URL, we can see this very generic website, and that's because I've already built it. But what we're gonna do is make a change and then preview the change and deploy the change. So if we go to previews, when we create a pull request, we will see that pull request here in Amplify. So let's go ahead and edit a file in GitHub, make a change, We'll change my very old Hugo site to my very new Hugo site, and we will create a new branch for the commit and start a pull request, and then propose that change. So we'll save that and create the pull request, keeping everything at default. And then we could merge the pull request to master, but we won't do that right now. We want to go back to previews and refresh the page, and we can see this pull request number two and that the status of the build is in progress and we have a different URL. Not the production URL, but this is the pull request URL so we can check things out be before we deploy it to master. So, And when we click on that, it wasn't quite ready yet because we're still provisioning, we're still building, deploying, and verifying. So if you go to the provision tab, you can refresh this tab and see where you are in the process. Or you can go to build, refresh build, and we can see at this point, provision is done because we have a green checkbox. Build is in progress because we have a circle with three dots on the right. And you can see that at the top as well. Uh, deploy is pending and verify is pending because we haven't gotten past build yet. And there are no tests for this particular web app. So we'll wait for it to build. Okay, so the repository is cloned and the back end is built, but there really is no back end infrastructure for this. It's just front end. We're getting a warning there on the particular theme for this Hugo site, but we'll just disregard it for now. So the build is complete and the deployment is complete and the verify is now complete. It took about a minute and a half to build this. So screenshots are disabled. They have an issue with that apparently. Now if we click on that PR URL, so this is the pull request number two, we can see that change there. So the pull request is showing a status of success because we did build that URL and we see it now when we go to the uh, non-production URL. So we have an incoming webhook that we can invoke which will trigger a build for a given branch. So we're going to build master. And if we copy the command, we can put that in a terminal and trigger the build. And you can see from the response metadata that we did invoke that webhook. So we have triggered the build So if we go to the production URL, we're still seeing the old information. And that's because we have not yet merged the pull request. We have to do that in GitHub. As far as I can tell, there's no way to merge a pull request within Amplify. We can see the master branch and the PR branch. And auto build is enabled for both, but we could disable that if we wanted to. 
So again, if we want to take a look at the change we made, we're still seeing in production the very old Hugo site. So once again, if we go back to GitHub, we can see that we have an open pull request that we want to merge. So if we merge it, the pull request is automatically closed and the branch could be deleted. And right away we see that we're provisioning master. So now we are actually deploying this to production. So the same process applies over here as far as provisioning, building, deploying, and verifying. We can click on the build phase and see that there's no back-end environment for this particular application, just the front end. So it's, it has provisioned and is setting things up for the build. There is no test, there is a deployment, and there is a verify stage. And now the build number six is complete. So if I refresh the page, I should see my very new Hugo site, and I do. So that's how you work with AWS Amplify. That's a very simple demonstration with Hugo. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and we'll see you next time.